Whether in person or online, school resumes tomorrow in Vermont. Students and parents return today under our new normal. Local 44's Jolie Sherman has details. The first day of school in a pandemic, but 90 to 95% of students agreed to come back for in-person instruction at the schools I visited. I spoke with a few of them today, and regardless of age or grade, most were excited to reunite with their classmates and friends. It really felt like uh, we were just coming back to school. That was Burlington School District Superintendent Tom Flanagan, who says the months of planning made for a smooth first day back. Super excited because I absolutely love school. The studious third grader was enjoying class outside, a system designed to maintain proper social distancing. One of the things that we've really been promoting is outdoor education. Champlain Elementary is also offering a variety of learning options, including hybrid, remote, as well as a four-day week for international students and students with IEPs. One fifth grader told me her favorite part of the first day. Learning and seeing my friends. And Ashley wasn't the only one who missed her friends. One student at Rice Memorial High School couldn't wait to start his senior year. I think the most challenging thing was the social aspect. I literally didn't see my friends for about three or four months until things opened up again. And I think that had a big strain on my like mental health and my emotional health. The soccer player who will now need to play in a mask likes how his school is practicing safety, from temperature checks to one-way hallways to sanitizing desks every period. Yeah, I actually walked into one of the first period classrooms and a number of the students said, Miss Lorenz, it is so good to see you. We are so happy to be back. And then they used the word grateful and blessed is the, use, the language they used. Principal Lorenz says Rice students will attend a four-day week and go remote on Wednesdays to allow for deep cleaning. Lessons will also be recorded and live streamed for international students. Both schools I talked to were eager and happy to welcome their students back. Jolie Sherman, Local 44 News.